Hey, what's up everybody? It's time for another sidebar conversation and I haven't done one in a while so I've got a whole list of things to talk about. So first of all, did everybody enjoy the kitchen utensil challenge videos? I've got a link to a whole playlist of all those videos and I think there were like over 40 people that participated. So go check out all those videos. Um, I've already watched them all and liked them and commented and it was a lot of great projects in there. And the whole point of that is for you guys to get out into your shops and build something for your kitchens. Um, and I'd like to thank Nick Ferry, Ted Alexander, and Patrick Curtis of Patrick's Workshop for arranging that whole thing and getting all of us woodworkers together uh, for the community build. So get out to your shops and build something for your kitchen. The Woodworking Shows is coming to Atlanta this weekend on March 6th, 7th, and 8th. And I'm going to be there helping out with our Gwinnett Woodworkers Club booth. Uh, we're going to have lots of projects on display. I'm taking some of my stuff. And we'll even take your picture and make you a scroll saw puzzle out of it. Uh, we'll have guys on the lathe making tops for the kids. So it should be a whole lot of fun along with all the other stuff that the Woodworking Shows has to offer. So make sure you stop by and say hello if you're coming to that. If you subscribe to Wood Magazine, you may have seen somebody you know on pages 18 and 19 of the March 2015 issue. If you don't have a copy yet, uh, you can still run out to the newsstands and get one. I know it's there because every time I go to the grocery store, I have to walk down that aisle and check it out. <laughs> but I'd like to thank Wood Magazine for giving me the opportunity to have an article in there. It's really cool, and it's probably the first time they've ever had a wooden sandwich in there. So... Uh, run out and get a copy and check that out. Several of my viewers out there noticed that the bottom section of my garage door has been painted white, but the rest hasn't yet. And that's because I just haven't gotten to it, but I will, I promise. <laughs> but uh, several people also commented that uh, I've got pocket holes and pocket screws here. And that's because I had to rebuild the whole bottom section of this uh, garage door and replace it because the old section had gotten uh, rotted due to moisture. Uh, so I just bought some 2x4s and cut them to size to match uh, the other garage door that we have. I was able to use it as a guide and just put it together with pocket holes, pocket screws, and glue. And I just used plywood panels and so far it's doing fine. Uh, so we'll see how long these pocket screws last in this bottom section of the garage door. And yeah, I know I need to paint the rest of it. <laughs> in case you missed my announcement, a bunch of us YouTube woodworkers have gotten together and reserved a booth at this year's Woodworking in America. It's going to be in Kansas City in September. So if you're in that area or you want to make the trip, we all would love to meet you in person. Uh, if you want to find out more information, just check out videowoodworkers.com uh, where you'll see a list of the woodworkers who are going to be there. And we will update that website uh, between now and then. And we'll have a schedule of who's going to be in the booth at what time and that sort of thing. So hope to see you there. You may have noticed that I've got my brand new Nick Ferry t-shirt on. If you don't know Nick, just search YouTube for Nick Ferry and subscribe to his channel and check out his videos. Uh, this is my latest purchase in my quest to get t-shirts from all the different woodworkers to show them some support. So if you would like to support your favorite woodworkers, check in the video description below for a link to a blog post I did a while back where I listed links to all the different woodworker stores that I could find uh, so that you can go and check them out and see what t-shirts and coffee mugs and stuff they have for sale. Uh, also, I noted which ones are Spreadshirt stores. So if you can search and find a Spreadshirt coupon code uh, that requires you to buy two items or a certain dollar amount, you can actually put one thing in your cart from one woodworker store and one thing in your cart from a different woodworker Spreadshirt store and check out and that way you support two woodworkers at once and take advantage of the coupon code. So check that out. And speaking of t-shirts, I would like to thank all of you out there who have bought my t-shirts or bought a pen or stickers from my Etsy store or used the contribute button on my website because you downloaded plans or something. 
Um, all of that really does go a long way to help support what I do here. And it's amazing how much like glue and spray lacquers, spray adhesive, sandpaper, saw blades, and light bulbs that you go through when you're trying to create a project video every week or two. So uh, thank you all for your support. And I always try to send you a personal reply if you contribute in some way to support what I do here. So I'll have a project out for you guys real soon. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.